Welcome guys, in today's video, we will see the simulation of the boost converter in Simulink. In my previous video, I had already explained the working of the boost converter. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you to check out that video for a better understanding. You will find the video link in the description below. So, without wasting any further time. Let us start the video. To open Simulink, type Simulink in the command window of MATLAB. First, we have to import the required components from the library. We need a DC voltage source. For components like an inductor, capacitor, and load, I will take an RLC branch. A switching device is required, I will take MOSFET because it can operate at high frequency. Now, we import a diode to block the reverse direction current. A voltage measurement block is needed to measure the voltage across the load. We will import a pulse generator, which is used to give square wave at the gate terminal of the MOSFET. And scope is needed to see the voltage waveform. All the required components are here. After that, follow my steps to connect the components. Now, we are all done with the connections. Let's assign the values to each component. For the simulation, we choose our DC supply to 9 volts. And, the value of the inductor is 2 millihenry. For the ideal behavior of MOSFET, I will decrease the internal resistance of MOSFET, The value of the capacitor is 20 microfarad. I will take a resistive load of 100 ohms. 
and for the pulse generator I will take 100 microseconds as a period and the duty cycle is 80%. Before we run the simulation, we need to import the PowerGee block from the library. PowerGee is an essential component, it allows the simulation of SimPower system blocks in the Simulink model. Now we run the model for 0.01 seconds. To check the output voltage, double click in the scope. This is the output voltage. Here we can see that the output voltage is 45 volts. Now, I want to check this result with the theoretical calculation. As we know the output voltage equals to input voltage divided by 1 minus duty cycle. In this example, the input voltage is 9 volts and duty cycle is 0.8. So output voltage is 45 volts, which is same as our Simulink result. If I change the duty cycle to 0.5, then the output voltage will decrease to 18 volts. Let's see this in Simulink. Here we can see that the output voltage is almost 18 volts. That's all I got for this video, I hope this video helps you, if it helps you, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more knowledgeable content like this. See you guys in the next video.